of growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. Officials now say more than 400 people have been sickened and nine people have died. China, for a visit, transmitted it to an individual when they were asymptomatic, and that person transmitted. The thing we're concerned about is the transmission from person to person to person. That's called sustained transmission. When that happens, the situation becomes a bit more serious. WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock, and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The risk for all of us of becoming infected will be increasing. I also directed the Department of Health to declare a public health emergency. There is no doubt that there will be more cases where we find people who test positive. The novel coronavirus outbreak spreading across the world, now hitting the United States from coast to coast. Over 100 cases in more than a dozen states, at least six people dead. I don't want to see it in the parks. I don't want to see it on the streets. I don't want to see it at open houses. I don't want to see it at parties or dinner parties, in the mall, sneaking into hospitals to visit your loved ones, sneaking into nursing homes. Knock it off. This is serious business. that keep us company. Saving us from loneliness. Love and compassion. It's easier than misery. It's a difficult companion. Self-fulfilling Self prophecy. Aside our plans. We assess our priorities. Look at ourselves in the mirror. And see an opportunity. To try, to try.
to yourself. yourself.